Hello friends out there in YouTube land, Robert Ham here, and today I'm going to give you a look at the Instacon RF70 by Mint Camera. Here you see it with a couple of my other favorite cameras. The RF70 is kind of an important camera because it's the first fully manual split image rangefinder camera that shoots Instax wide film. And this is developed of course by Mint Camera in Hong Kong. Getting a detail of the top plate, we'll notice the machine knobs and that this is pre-production hardware. Looking down the front, we see the detail of how the bellows works as well as the focusing and aperture wheels. Mint Camera even went ahead a step further and decided to give us a nice pop-up flash. Good call there, I like it. Looking around the front, we see the aperture ring that goes from f22 all the way down to f5.6. It's really nice there and smooth operation. This detail of the front is showing the viewfinder glass as well as the magic eye, the split image rangefinder. And we're going to move on to the machine knobs. As we're looking at those knobs, we notice that Mint included a really nice camera grip on the front as well. So that's easy use, feels really good. Moving around to the back, we can see several windows here and we're going to go over them right now. Zooming on in, we're going to see that this viewing window actually gives us our parallax collection. Moving down, we see the split image rangefinder and a digital LCD that tells us how many films are left. Moving on over, we have the clip that allows us to open the back in order to add additional film. And moving around to the top plate, we just get a nice overview. And the film ejects facing you through that slit right there. It's a very well put together camera. Moving over to the right side, we see a PC sync port. We also saw some camera lugs. Beautiful camera. Let's go ahead and open it up for you. Opening is easy with pressing that clasp, adjusting so that the uh, fixture holds the lens out correctly. Closing is as simple as pressing the button right there by my index finger on my left hand and then closing the camera. It works quite well. Let's move out and take a picture real quick. I got my sons here. We're just going to take a nice photo. Look how bright everything is. It's an exposure value of roughly 15, 16 right now. As I go through, I'm kind of looking and just metering this by my eye. I decided to shoot at f11 at 1 500th of a second. And uh, you're going to find out why later. The picture turned out great. Here's my little son, Ira. Let's go ahead and have him come around and open and advance the camera. He'll show you how that works. He's going to move the little lever right here. That lever you see by his right thumb. He's actually moving it with his left hand. He's a lefty. And you can see how the image pops up right there on the top. And there you have it. It'll take about three to five minutes for this to develop completely. And uh, let's move into looking at some of these images. Now I've had this camera long enough to go through a complete roll of film in color and six images in black and white. And my immediate takeaways are that it's a dream to shoot with. It feels good in the hand, it's sturdy. Keep in mind I'm using pre-production hardware so it can only get better from here. One of the things I like about the lens is that it maintains a low contrast feel. Just check out some of these details in the shadows that you're going to see coming across. Quite a bit of uh, detail in there, not crushed like you see with many uh, different Instax cameras. Here, shooting backlit with my children right there, look at the detail in the shadows right there and the warm image. The other one that you see sitting on the fence, once again, front lit, there's no raccoon eyes and there's even detail underneath my son's hat. Now, some tricky lighting situations like the one you see with the Statue of Liberty that just got covered up required me to use an app to meter with. Generally, I was metering with my eye. I generally like to overexpose Instax uh, wide film because it allows me just to have a little bit less of contrast um, and muddiness in the uh, in those shadows like we were talking about and this camera allows you to do it perfectly I've had a great time with it and I know that you will too guys stay tuned for my roll reviews which are underway now thanks for watching